Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tara. I hope everybody's well. Um, I haven't posted in a few days. Um, actually, about four days behind schedule on readings, so I'm just gonna open with the fact that um, last week toward the end was kind of a shit show. Sunday I celebrated Canadian Thanksgiving with friends and family, and yesterday and this morning I had work, so I'm finally getting to the table. I'm going to throw down some cards, so I'm gonna do the weekly. If I'm not too hor horribly drained after this, I might um, start with Gemini and keep going for the October round two. It all depends on how I feel at the end of this. So, all right, it is time for the weekly top and bottom of the deck. It's going to be in all signs, probably over and a half to two hours long. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, start out with Libra, go around the wheel accordingly. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. If not, check your moon rising and Venus signs. Just keep in mind, time and energy over the fluid. All things can and move and vice versa. Everybody is always welcome. I appreciate everybody stopping by. If you're new here, think we might vibe, think you want to hang out some more, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Don't forget the like button while you're down there. If you're returning, welcome back. Where the hell you been? I missed your face. Okay. Two things before I invoke the cards and throw them down. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't recommend it at all, whether they're my cards or anybody else's. And two, if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It was not meant for you. Heavenly Father, Mother, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, thanks for coming down and hanging out today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask to help me use it to bring all of my collective to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Libra. Why are you here? Star in the reverse. Ooh. You're not healing from something, honey. What's up with that? Okay, what's your challenge? Ooh, that would be why you're still in a cage of your own thoughts about something. Mm, okay. What are the events? Ten of Wands, Three of Cups reversed, and the Knight of Cups. Oh, I'm going to pull down. Do, 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 do. Everybody see that? Can we see? See the end of my bread pan. That's attractive. Okay. The events, not necessarily occurring in order, just throwing that out there. The release of a burden, possibly a disconnect from family and friends. Or a lover, maybe a third party situation, I don't know, it's only 1-3, we'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. This Knight of Cups here, this could be an, either you extending an offer or somebody extending an offer to you. Hmm. Why is it all happening? Why is it all happening? Well, shit, Libra. Okay. We have a tower, ten of pentacles reversed, and a four of swords. Apparently some shit went down. Possibly could have affected you financially. It could have affected you home and family wise. Possibly be, could be because you had to heal from a broken heart. I mean... Sometimes when it's a broken heart, it seriously can affect our, our general way of life if we allow it to. Hmm. Hard to tell how far back this goes, though. Hmm. All right. Outcome. Aces. 
Ace of Wands, new start and passion, new start and action. Nice. It's the end of one thing and the beginning of another. That's awesome. Cycles, baby. Cycles, baby. The make or break. Make or break for the week is this Ace of Cups. I think it has something to do with this. Yeah, something new coming in. Yeah, new something new coming in. You start something new. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You gotta end something old. I think you have to allow a healing. You gotta get out of your head, baby. You gotta get out of your head, baby. All right. Do I don't think I need to clarify this. I really don't. I think the cards speak for themselves, Libra. I'm not gonna clarify a damn thing. I'm not. I'm going to leave it as general as possible. What's your advice? I think you all need to be extremely careful what you put your energy into. Some of you may need to concentrate more on your own personal abundance and how it makes you feel and how it affects you rather than getting noticed by other people with the Six of Wands reversed. Eight of Cups reversed, Queen of Cups, Nine of Wands reversed. Chair reversed. Temperance reversed, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Energies need to level off before you try to return to something. You haven't healed yet. Or if something old tries returning to you, maybe that's what's causing this. I feel like this is a return. For some of you, this may involve a return. You finally got to release and disconnect. I think you need to make it be known that you ain't hopping in the chariot with anybody. Because you're working on you. But if you do feel like hopping in the chariot with somebody old, which I don't think you will, this is screaming new right here. This is screaming new. Make sure the energies are level. Make sure things are positive between you. And if they're not, more work needs to be done. It is Mercury retrograde after all, guys. Just throwing that out there. Okay. All right, Libra. Let me know if it resonated. Trying to keep it as general as possible. Okay. Libra Scorpio. Scorpio. No. Yeah. Scorpio. What the hell was I thinking? Scorpio. <clears throat> Hold on. I got to get the Scorpio water sign deck out. All of my stuff is all jumbled. I'm not sure why. Okay. Scorpio. What's going on?
<laughs> You're in the process of letting go of something, Scorpio, but the challenge is it's something you still very much want. Something could be letting go of you. It's going to happen. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Six of Cups, Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords reverse. Somebody's going to get a bad attitude. I'm not sure if this is you or the other person. This is old soulmate shit. Somebody's anxious. Somebody's going to get cut out. Are you anxious? Are you anxious about being let go? Are you paranoid? Is this somebody you've been kicking it with for a while? Because I'm feeling like you don't want to let go. Why is it happening? Could have had to do with money. Could have been an old seed that never grew. Could have been the one that got away. Lack of happiness. Lack of a connection. This Ten of Swords reverse tells me it's the one that got away with this pentacle. Something painful never came to an end. Somebody left something hanging out there. Could have been them. Could have been you. Could be something left hanging out between you. You want this. They don't. That's what I'm getting off of this. There was the outcome of the make a break. Oh! Outcome is an impossible decision not being made. Or being made without clarity. You're making a decision without clarity, you're... It's like impulse. The make or break is the King of Cups reversed. It's how somebody chooses to deal with their emotions in regards to this issue. See this guy in the reverse to me. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing with this guy. In the upright, he does the emotion is there, but he does not wear his heart out on his sleeve. His emotions are very guarded because he's learned how to protect them. He's <sighs> He's emotionally grounded. Does that make sense? He's a blubbering mess in the reverse. If he's expressing any emotion at all. This is the make or break is how you deal with emotions, Scorpio. The make or break is how you deal with emotions. What's the advice? You cannot change somebody. You cannot change somebody. Do not go into a relationship thinking you can mold and shape another person into the way you want them. That is not how this works. Not how this works. It doesn't matter how long you wait. It doesn't matter how much energy you pour into it. It is wasted energy. You have to love and want the person as they are <laughs> when you walk into a relationship. If someone is meant to change, they will. But don't force it. And if it's not meant to work out and it's not meant to grow, it's not meant to metamorphosize, it does not matter how long you wait. So your best option is to process any negative emotions, try to find the blessings, and learn to become emotionally independent. There we go. Scorpio, that was pretty, wow, wow. All right, that was like to the point. I'm okay with that. If I don't need to clarify tonight, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm just throwing that out there. Give that a quick shuffle. Um, 
Sagittarius. Oh, Sagittarius friends, what do we have for you? Fire! <laughs> I had to. You guys know I had to. Yes, I'm keeping the cards in a bread pan. Don't judge. It's just until the new space is set up, which, yeah, that got delayed. That got delayed, but what else is new? Okay. Sagittarius. The Fool, the Four of Cups. You are starting off on a new adventure, a new path. That's awesome. Your challenge is the Four of Cups. That feels like reluctance. I can't tell if these two cups are empty or if you just can't see what's in them. You can definitely see that full glass of red wine, though. And you don't know what's in that cup up there because you're not looking at it. Hmm. All right. I can't tell if that's contemplation or reluctance or ignoring something. What's, what's playing out this week? Hangman, Chariot, Seven of Swords. I feel like something that you were hung up on or that kept you up in the gallows is going to start moving forward. And I mean like it, with a very quick pace. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer you're dealing with. I also have Aries. I have a little air. Um... I want to say this is Aquarius. Okay. Gemini is 8, 9, 10. So this has to be Aquarius. Okay, sorry. Don't lull over. Don't pay attention to the sides. The energy coming off the card. Yeah. Because somebody came clean. Somebody's coming in with honesty. Someone's speaking truth. Hmm. Why is it all happening? Oh, the first time you have to clarify for because I don't know what this page of wands is. Make a break. The outcome is the seven of wands. It's standing up, rising above. Defeating whatever internally is going on could be combativeness, but I don't see it as combativeness. I see it as rising up and defeating. Make or break is the four of pentacles reversed, the ability to let go. Something had you hung up in the gallows. It's all happening because someone was emotionally closed off. I don't know if it was you or them or both of you. This could have been someone who stopped speaking or there was a loss or lack of passion, lack of forward movement. It could have been somebody just lack of communication. It's like they may have stood and watched. 
didn't say anything for a while, but something was left unsaid, something was left unfinished. I think somebody's coming back to finish it. But you gotta let go. This puts you in some serious contemplation mode. This will be like, why, why? Why are you handing me a cup? You handed me these three too. Why do I want that one? All right. I guess I don't have to clarify. What's your advice? Both the king and the queen of pentacles are reversed. Four sword reversed. Eight swords reversed. Eight of wands. Five of wands. Okay. Don't start an unnecessary restless energy. What's this five of wands? Nine of cups reversed. Avoid inadvertently starting drama or making someone feel unneeded or unappreciated. I'm hearing don't sabotage this, Sagittarius. Don't sabotage this. Temperance. Temperance. You need to just let things flow. You need to let things flow. I'm also hearing if you need help, if you need someone's help, ask for it. Don't be too proud. Somebody in this scenario has been a little proud. And somebody needs to stop that. Okay. All right, Sag. Rock on. Rock on. Rock on. Okay. Do, 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 do. Capricorn. I'm going to take a very brief pause. Deal with my phone explosion. I'll be right back. All right, Capricorn. <sighs> okay. Sorry, I'm just releasing some weird negative energy. Okay, <laughs> Capricorn, what's happening for you this week? So as I lay the cards out, I will tell the amusing story behind the negative energy. So I ordered my son a dress shirt. And somehow it got misdirected from California to Hawaii instead of where I live in Michigan. So it arrived two weeks late, and I needed it today for his school pictures. And it literally arrived and was delivered into my mailbox at the end of the day as he was getting into the car. <laughs> today. I just got the notification from Walmart. <laughs> Shit happens, folks. Can't always work out the way we want it to, right? Okay. All right. Capricorn, you're showing up as the Six of Wands. The challenge for the week is the Queen of Swords. Hmm.
It feels like a return. Let me see the events. Oh, okay. Huh. The events don't necessarily play out in the order that the cards are read in or that they get laid out in. I feel like, huh. Okay, why did it happen? Every little bit sheds a little bit more light. This is new. You have something coming in. You have something new coming in. This decision is letting go of the old and reaching for the new and moving forward. After you were left out in the cold by someone, somebody's coming back. And the challenge is what you do with it. Is it honest conversation time? Is it cutting them out of your lifetime? This happened because you let this come to an end. This fucked you up. All right, for the first time tonight, I need clarity. Tell me about this Prince of Wands. I don't know what this Prince of Wands is. Is this Prince of Wands and this Three of Pentacles? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. This is the return of the party pony. You got dusted. You got ghosted. They're coming back if they haven't already. You got to have an honest conversation with the party pony. Why is this Three of Pentacles here? The moon reversed, light, light being shed, light being shed. You're seeing things clearer. You're seeing things clearer because you've moved on. You may have anxiety moving forward. Why is this Prince of Pentacles here? Oh, hi, hey, hi, hi. Six of Swords reversed, the Fool, and the Fool, the Fool, High Priestess, the Make or Break is how quickly you jump. The outcome is you moving forward slowly. Why is the Six of Swords reversed? Hanged man. <clears throat> That's an energy of hesitation. You're hesitating. You don't know which way to jump. Why the high priestess? 
why the high priestess she also speaks of secrets but she also speaks to use your intuition and going with your gut the star just when you think you've healed just when you think you're ready to move on the outcome depends on which way you jump I feel like I end up having an honest conversation with somebody I feel like secrets are going to be revealed possibly in regards to a third party situation possibly why they ghosted you somebody misses you Why the Five of Pentacles for Capricorn? Six of Cups. Sorry, Page of Cups. Reversed. They didn't know how to tell you before. They didn't know how to open their mouth. They probably just stood back and watched. Could have. Could have. Possibly stood back and watched and waited for an opening. Or, if things are coming to light about a new union with you and somebody else, this is causing them anxiety and them wanting to come in and end a painful cycle. If this is their energy. I feel like this is yours. I feel like you got wrapped up in it and had a lot of sleepless nights and finally had to put an end to it. Alright, let's get your advice. Let's get your advice. Bam! The moon, the hierophant, the eight of cups, the seven of cups, justice, the queen of cups. Pardon me. Capricorn. <sighs> One more. Dang. Tower reverse, two of wands reverse, seven of swords. Don't let, don't let somebody who is sneaky with you in the past Come back in and fuck with you like this. Don't do it. Don't let them prevent you from moving forward. I don't think they're coming back with the purest of intentions. I really don't. So you need to figure out what intentions they're coming back with if you choose to go back to the party pony here. But if you're meant to move forward, which I think you are, I have a hair fit and a justice. I have the Eight of Cups. Make a decision with clarity. Don't let somebody come in and try to confuse you and throw a bunch of cups at you. Queen of Cups. You need to love yourself enough. Listen to your intuition. Do you want to heal from this or not? Do you want to heal or do you want to stay hung up? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Don't listen to me. You ain't got to listen to me. Get the tower on the bottom. Tower on the bottom of the deck. Towers fall for a reason, friends. Towers fall for a reason. They really do. If something moved out of your life, there was a reason for it. And it's retrograde. So this shit's happening to a lot of people. You are not alone, Capricorn. You are not alone. You are not alone. It is the time of year where we are tested. We are tested. Aha! I'm going to throw this at you. What are you going to do? I'm having fun with it. I'm not going to lie to you. 
I'm having tons of fun with retrograde this year or this time around. I am. I am having fun. I'm not letting it get me down. Capricorn. Aquarius. Figure out where I was. state of six of swords you are crossing choppy waters your challenge is temperance might be a Sagittarius could be the leveling of a playing field patience your challenge may be patience we're gonna see what the rest of the cards have to say Two of Swords, Will of Fortune, the Tower. Why is it happening? Somebody made an impulsive decision. This feels like a, it can't get any worse. I'm already on the bottom. How much further can I go down? Can I really fall off this cliff if I'm jumping from the bottom? I don't think so. And then you had a hard time accepting change. And the tower fell. Towers fall for a reason. Outcome, make or break. Four of Wands, Seven of Cups. Oh, your outcome is celebration. Your outcome is stability. The make or break is what decision you make. What cup you choose next. So this is a decision that you need to make with clarity. I feel like some of you feel like you're constantly crossing choppy waters. You have to be more patient with yourself. You can't be so impulsive all the time, Aquarius. You can't be so impulsive all the time. Let's get your advice. Why the Nine of Pentacles? 
Ten of Cups reversed. Hmm. Why the ten why the Queen of Swords? Nine of Swords reversed. You gotta come out of your head about this. You need to clearly decide what needs to go out of your life and what doesn't. You need to decide what's going to build your foundations and what's not. You need to decide what you want. You know what you don't want. If you want justice and balance, you need to make decisions with clarity. You need to watch what cups you take and what cups you ignore. Don't make decisions out of desperation and neediness because you just don't want to be single because that's not what leads to happiness. Ace of Pentacles reversed on the bottom. Aquarius, some seeds are not meant to grow. You must be patient. Some seeds were just not meant to grow. There's something coming. There's something fated and destined coming. And something was put down and out of the way for it to get here. So you must be patient. But to the next decision you make, you must make with clarity. Don't make it out of desperation. Make it out of clarity. All right, Aquarius. Woo, that was rough. Holy cow. Mm. I pulled it out of me. Doggone it. Okay. Pisces. Clear something out of the way here. Pisces. And no, I'm not ashamed of my muffin tin. You know why? Because it keeps my cards organized. It keeps them from getting wet. <laughs> it keeps them all in one place. Pisces. One more good shuffle. Knight of Cups reversed. The King of Cups. You're either rejecting a cup or your cup is being rejected. The challenge. The emotion you put toward the situation. He's very guarded. He does not wear his emotions out on his sleeve. He's an extremely emotionally mature person. He, she, insert whatever pronoun you want. Just, you know, whatever fits you. It's your challenge. Why is emotional maturity a challenge? Possibly if you're a little emotionally closed off and that's why your cup got rejected. I don't know. I wasn't there King of Swords 
Wheel of Fortune. King of Pentacles reverse. There's three kings on this table. The events don't necessarily play out in order. Why is it all happening? Ten of Cups, Five of Swords reversed, and the Emperor. He represents all four kings. Also represents the sign of Aries. Take it however it resonates. If it fits, great. If it don't, don't worry about it. There's happiness. There was bliss. It was amazing. It's a completion. The Five of Swords, it can be things happening behind closed doors. It can also be a defeat. Juggling and waiting. <sighs> Pisces, why do you do it to me? I'm going to have to take another break after this. Pisces, why do you do it to me? What's up with the King of Pentacles reversed? Justice. Oh. Oh. If it's a legal matter, I feel like you won. There's the Empress. And the Three of Swords. Pisces, what the smell. One more on this King of Pens reversed. Is this you or the other person? Ah! Take those two. Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands reversed. Definitely stole somebody's thunder. Put something to an end. Put something to an end. Or somebody stole your thunder. Making a logical head over heart decision. Possibly out of self preservation. Somebody got heartbroken. Tell me more about this Five of Swords. Five Pentacles first. Somebody had a light bulb moment. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Hermit. Somebody had a light bulb moment. 
and it may have been a little bit too late. They figured out what it cost them. If it was behind, if it was behind closed door bullshit, somebody figure out what it cost them. Somebody finally found the light. Now we'll come back and put work in and work toward abundance. Because at one time, y'all made each other happy. One time that was growth. I think they're seeing that now. The world, the wheel, the empress, the world. I think you're moving toward growth, though. You're putting this shit to an end. There's three tens and three kings. An emperor and an empress. One of the two of pentacles reversed for the outcome, please. The emperor. Two emperors. Why the three of wands? It's the releasing of a burden. Putting something to an end. Another ten. Another ten. Ten of swords. Ten of cups. Ten of pentacles. Ten of wands. This is an ending. This is a completion. You're having a hard time embracing change, Pisces. You don't want to take somebody's cup. Because I think you're a little bit afraid of it. Something ended badly. If it's the same person, I can't say as to blame you. If it's a different person, don't do that to somebody. Don't blame, don't blame a new person for some old person's bullshit. It feels like a return to me. I feel like you steal your thun you steal the thunder at the end of the week, though. I feel like there's salty feelings and endings. Endings, six of swords, moving on. Six of swords, moving on. Magician, manifesting new things. Pisces, let's get your advice. You gotta love yourself before you can ever expect to get into a new connection. You gotta find self love. You have to. And don't. If it wasn't equal give and take to begin with, it's probably never gonna be. Don't wait around for something to fruit that is not going to fruit. Don't wait around for something to change that is not going to change. If this person came back and genuinely changed and is genuinely evolved, then by all means. But if they have not, don't let them pull wool over your eyes. Release it and go forth. Whew. You guys are kicking my ass tonight. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right, gotta sort some cards. Take a breather. Aries, you're next. All right, Aries.
Fire! Hey, it's not a ten of swords this time. <laughs> Just playing. Uh, death reversed. Seven of wands reversed. Something not changing. A metamorphosis not occurring. defeat what happened what's happening what's happening why is it happening Outcome, the Wheel of Fortune, old things ending, new things beginning. The make or break is the chariot in the reverse. <sighs> Deciding which direction you're going to go. Well. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles reversed, Hereford reversed, High Priestess reversed. Ego, somebody's on an ego trip this week. I don't know if it's you or the person you're dealing with. Somebody is on a weird ego trip. Give me one on this Nine of Pentacles reversed. The lovers. Oh God, the lovers showed up twice. That's a charming trickster. Somebody's pulling puppet strings. Somebody's making threats. Why is the Hereford reversed here? Somebody's working a lot. Trying to find balance, trying to keep things balanced. Why is the high priestess here? Why the high priestess? Somebody feels ignored. Sun reversed to not happy. It's affecting someone's ego. Someone feels defeated. So things have not changed. Why the Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, Lovers? Ace of Pentacles. It's two aces. Why the Page of Cups?
Why the lovers? Aries, either you or the, another ace. Either you or the person you're dealing with. Wow. Just the Ace of Swords. Too many. Just the Ace of Swords. Temperance. What the fuck, Aries? I feel like somebody's being very manipulative. Someone's... <clears throat> Someone feels ignored. I feel egotistical energy. I feel like something's on the brink of separation if it hasn't already. Why the magician? Nine of Wands. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It feels like I love you, but it's like someone's fighting to get their way. Someone's being manipulative. Somebody's being combative. Someone's putting in all the work. Just trying to attain balance and someone's being ignored and not happy. It's hard to tell who's who here. But I feel like at the end of the week, someone is torn. I feel like this is happening because truths are coming out. Why temperance? It's not always patience and balance, guys. Temperance levels playing fields. Temperance bring this, brings the rainbow after the storm. Ace of Swords. Poor Temperance, she sits between death and the devil. I feel like someone went off and started something new without the other person's knowledge. Or someone had a choice. I think things are becoming known. Like I said, I don't know who did what. Why is the chariot reversed here for the make or break? Why the chariot reversed? Wheel of Fortune. Holy she's Wow. There's a destined path that you're supposed to take. And what other path you choose? Which other way you steer the chariot? Is what makes or breaks. Devil at the bottom of the deck. Some of you may have to separate from something toxic. Something binding. Huh? Temperance, death, and the devil. What do you know? Let's get your advice, Aries. Holy jeez.
You gotta be careful which way you steer this chariot. Don't do something you're gonna end up regretting. Don't be caught up, don't be caught up in the anger and the malice and the combativeness. Don't make this decision emotionally, if that makes any sense to anybody. Aries, what the fuck just happened on my table? Empress at the bottom of the deck. There's still potential for this seed to grow, whatever this is. I think it may do y'all best to sit down and have an honest conversation and try to level the playing field and try to restore balance before y'all go off and do something y'all going to regret. But you, you have to do it from a place of love and not negative emotion. Does that make any sense to anybody? Aries, I'm sorry if this is so scattered. This, I'm being thrown like a lot of energy right now. I don't know how far back this crap goes. But I know what I'm seeing for this week. Destiny is about to play out. Karma is playing out. For somebody. I don't know if it's you or the other person. But the wheel don't fall down twice for no reason on a table. Karma is at play. Destiny is playing out. But the future is not written. Okay, Aries, that's all I got for you. Okay. Woof. Good God. Kicking my ass. Fire, why you gotta do that to me? Fire, why you gotta do that to me? Gosh, throw him down for Taurus. Some grounded energy going on here. Woo! Taurus. What we got for Taurus? Star and the Four of Swords. You're walking into the week healing. Your challenge is laying something to rest. Getting over a heartbreak. Events. Four of Cups. Nine of Wands. Prince of Pentacles. Why it's all happening. Magician. Strength. And the Six of Pentacles. The world at the end of the week. The make or break is the Prince of Swords. What you do with information that you are given. Offer of truth. 
feel like someone's going to tell the truth about something. And what you do with it makes or breaks the outcome. Out with the old, in with the new, old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. Why is the Four of Cups here? Death. Two of Wands. That's huge. Why the Nine of Wands? Ace of Swords reversed. Five of Cups. Walls going up, sadness, no communication. Why is the Prince of Pentacles here? It's the Snow Prince! King of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Pentacles. Why the Alchemist? To the puppet strings, it's the Six of Cups. This is happening because somebody tried to pull strings. Somebody tried to play the we have children together card or the we've been kicking it for a minute card. It, it's, it's playing on emotions. It's playing on a long stand bond. Why is strength here? Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Holding Back, Heartbroke, King of Swords, Making a Non-Emotional Decision, Holding Back, Not Letting Your Emotions Get the Best of You Because You're Heartbroken. He Guards His Emotions. This is happening because somebody held back. Possibly because someone was pulling emotional puppet strings. I don't know if it's the same person or one of you is doing one thing and the other of you is doing another. I don't know. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Chariot. And the King of Cups reversed. Quality and distance and lack of emotion. It's either a complete lack of emotion or a blubbering mess. Which one is it? Why the King of Cups reversed? The Fool. Going off jumping something new. Negate of all emotion. Energy match. Distance. Someone's ignoring a cup. Moving on. Allowing change to come. Not seeing the cup. Not communicating. Walls are out. Processing sadness. Why the King of Pentacles reversed? Logician reversed. Why the Seven of Pentacles?
queen of wands is like they're toying with you. It's almost like they're toying with you. If they're toying with you, you're toying with somebody. It's hard to tell. Having patience but wanting what you want and wanting it now and going to any means to get it. Even it's slowing down to a crawl and waiting patiently for what you want. Why the why the Prince of Swords? Why the Prince of Swords? Ten of Wands. Speaking of truth, getting something off one's chest. Releasing of a burden. What you do with the information that you're given. If you allow yourself to receive that information. Taurus, what the fuck just happened on my table? All right, retrograde's tossing out some crazy energies. Emperor, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. You need to regain control of this. You need to put work and energy into things that are going to be abundant and grow. You need to put your work and energy into things that have potential. Full reverse, justice reverse, seven of cups. Don't allow someone to come in and confuse you. Don't allow someone to jack with your balance like that. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. I like this. You need to pick the path that's going to be most abundant for you. You really do. You need to make the decision that helps your growth. And if that decision is allowing change to come in this situation and ignoring the cup, then that's what that is. What you do with the information you're given, when someone gets whatever the hell they need to get off their chest, off their chest. You're healing and getting over something. Someone held back from you? Something's about to cut loose. And I think the cut and loose, it's hard to tell what came first here, the chicken or the egg. But I feel like you're going to be given a piece of information that's going to make or break a connection. And it's whatever you do with it that makes or breaks it. The moon, the ten of wands, and the hierophant. Wow, Taurus. The path is scary. Why the hair fit? Queen of Swords. Oh, that's life lessons. Make a decision with clarity. Demand honesty. Make your decision with clarity. There was a lesson in this connection. I don't know how long it's been going on. There was a lesson in this connection. This could be somebody you're married to. That's why the emotional puppet strings are being pulled. 
Wow. Princess of Wands at the bottom of the deck. She forages new paths. Okay. Taurus is what I have for you. Okay. Ugh. Gemini, loady load. Trying to get these done. Woo! Probably going to be close to two hours. I feel like some of these aren't even making sense. Some of them are coming in so clear just with, you know, one one deck on the table. And some of them, I got to throw down some cards, man. Whew. All right. Gemini. This helps me, helps me time stamp, too. Queen of Wands reversed and the Four of Cups. Something isn't moving forward at the speed at which you want it to move forward. Somebody may have stolen your thunder. The challenge is... I don't know if you're the one holding the cup or you're the one ignoring the cup. But the challenge is contemplation. Possibly overthinking. I don't know in whose part, though. Hard to say. Ace, page of Swords. Eight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Something's moving quick. Something has the potential for abundance, but something's moving quick. Why is it all happening? Three of Swords, Ten of Cups, Justice Reversed. Oh my. Outcome Two of Swords. Make or break, Nine of Pentacles. Why is justice reversed here? Why justice reversed? Two of Swords. Knight of Swords. Somebody had to come clean about why something wasn't balanced. I don't know if it was you or somebody else. Somebody wants the ultimate happiness, but somebody's nursing a broken heart. Why is Ten of Cups here? Four of Wands reversed. The emotion was there, but the stability wasn't. Love can only do so much, y'all. Give me two seconds. I get a kid trying to walk through. Hold on. Okay, where was I? Yeah, you can't build the house just on love. 
Why is three swords here? Tell me about this three swords. Death. Somebody to undergo a transformation. Why is the page of swords here? Queen of Cups. The message of truth, the expression of love and feelings and stuff. Why the Eight of Wands? Page of Wands. Yeah, this is happening quick. Ace of Wands, new start. Why the Ten of Pentacles? Four of Pentacles. Abundance! Sorry. King of Swords reversed, Four of Pentacles. So the potential to be abundant. Somebody. One more. Why the Four of Pentacles reversed? Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's having a hard time giving up independence. Somebody doesn't want to be codependent. Somebody's going to have a hard time giving that up. You need to take your time with this person. I think that I think the decision's going to be made. It's going to be made with clarity. I don't think this decision lies in your hands, Gemini. I think it lies in the other person's. But you need to understand, and the make or break of this is you need to respect their independence. I think whoever you're dealing with has been very independent for a very long time. They don't want to give that up. This is them. The challenge is them being willing to take that cup. It's not moving at the pace you want it to. It's moving, and I mean it's moving. It's not the pace you want it to. The hang-up is over here. Somebody doesn't want to let go of their independence. There may have been an injustice in the past, and a decision was made. Give me one more on this Knight of Swords, please. Hair if it reversed, yeah. It didn't work out the first time around. It was a separation of a blessed union for whatever reason. Somebody made a decision to cut somebody else out. Somebody watched, though. Somebody watched. One more on this four of wands reversed. Such happiness, but no foundation, no structure. Somebody got anxious. Somebody got very anxious. Why death? Why death for Gemini? For why this is all happening? Temperance reverse. Somebody had somebody got broken hearted. There was negative energy. Somebody may have had, had it was a spiritual experience for one of you. There was negative energy here. It caused negative energy. It caused negative flow. It karma. Somebody may have had to deal with karma. Karma. 
All right. Let's get your advice, Gemini, before I beat this dead horse anymore. Why the Queen of Cups reversed is swords. Ace of Swords. This is cool. I mean, one's a page and one's an ace, but still, I see the imagery. I see the imagery. The Fool, the Ace of Swords. You want, you want a clean, fresh new start? You have to be honest about emotions. And you have to let the other person to have processed their emotions. I understand you want what you want. You want it now. And you want to build a foundation. But somebody's anxious here. Why the Nine of Swords? Six of Swords reverse. Somebody's anxious. This is a return. If you're crossing back over these choppy waters to be with somebody. You're fighting against... I, I look at this as fighting against the wind. You're fighting against the wind to be with somebody. You have to understand they're probably a little bit anxious. You, you need to find understanding here. If somebody's a little bit combative toward this. Three of Pentacles. Hermit reversed. They may not be ready. Three of Cups, Ten of Swords, Four of Wands reversed. You want reunion? You gotta let them process shit. You gotta let them process. You may have to reassure them that the old cycle's done and a new one's beginning if you want your foundation. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups reversed. Wow. What the heck, Gemini? Okay. Let me know if it resonated. Woo! People got people coming back. Retrograde's almost over. <laughs> Retrograde's almost over. Cancer. Mm -hmm. It was hiding a card. It was the Five of Pentacles reversed. We'll see if it comes back out, just for kicks. At any point during the reading, just for kicks. Cancer, Justice. Empress reversed. Could be a Libra, could be a Gemini. Or a Taurus. Huh.
challenge here is something didn't grow. Things are coming back into balance, but something didn't grow. Why is it all happening? The Magician, the Ten of Swords, reverse the Hermit. Something didn't get processed properly. Something new got started before something got processed properly. Healing, truths being told, possibly... Give me just a second. And a conflict and the rebuilding of the tower. Well, gee... No, that's the falling of the tower. That's sudden change. Acceptance of change. End of conflict. Make or break acceptance of change. Allowing the tower to fall. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here for Cancer? Why the Queen of Wands? Why the Queen of Wands reversed? Temperance could have been Sagittarius. Hermit. Something's put to an end. Something's not moving forward. Balance can be restored. The inner light can be found. The path can start to be walked. Because it hadn't been walked yet. Why the magician? Why the magician? Ace of Cups. New start in love before something ended. Before something was processed. Why the hermit reversed? Five of pens. Why the ten of swords reversed? Tower reversed. Somebody held up a tower. The healing is about to begin. Truths are about to be told. Why the moon reversed? Somebody got fucking ghosted. And a sword's reversed. Get down. Get. Old man, get. Get. <laughs> Stinking cat. He's batting at my notebook, trying to knock it down. Hey, stop. He's trying to get my attention. Moon reversed. The truth's about to be told. Why someone got ghosted. Why something was just left hanging out there. Why the star? Somebody's restless still because something didn't grow. Balance is coming in. And a conflict. The allowance of the tower to fall. Cancer, somebody fighting a tower? Are you fighting a tower? Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Are you the one fighting the tower? Or did you... St Nine Cups. Did you really make peace with it? Or did someone ghost to find their emotional fulfillment and left it hanging out there? Just kind of left you in the dark. Left you wondering. Wow.
why the Ten of Swords reversed. The Sun. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Why the Four of Swords reversed? reversed you're about to heal for something that you were restless from I'm not beating a dead horse anymore cancer if somebody's going through it right now this feels very specific somebody's going through it right now it's about to all be over we one on this tower and we're gonna get advice eight of swords reversed let the damn tower fall. And the make or break is how you deal with this. Stop fighting the tower. Come out of that. Come out of your prison. So let it let it drop and come out of your prison. Energy is super fucking mixed up here. Ultimately, something was left hanging out there, and either somebody else went off and started something new, and just left you hanging. Or you started something new after someone left you hanging. That was random. I just changed those batteries, I swear to God. That was so random. Anyway, I changed all the smoke alarm batteries for everybody who was wondering, by the way. Maybe it's because I'm running my mouth too much, I don't know. All right. Advice. I feel like I'm being a, beating a dead horse here. Advice. You are worthy of what you want. Don't ever let anybody tell you any different. You gotta lay this to rest so a new start can come. You have to end this. You have to accept that it wasn't gonna grow for balance to come back in. I feel like there's a cop coming for you that you're very worthy of. But you have to believe that you're worthy. Why the King of Wands? Six of Wands reversed. Emperor reversed. Five of Swords. Standing up for what you want. But maintaining control. Don't make a decision based on having a wounded ego either. Strength at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes it takes more strength to let go than it does to hold on. Sometimes it takes more strength to walk out of the tower than to let it drop while you're standing in the middle of it. Sometimes it takes more strength to just let it fall, Cancer. This is very draining. I feel like I should start some sage.
Leo. Fire! Oh crap. You're not happy. Ten of Cups reversed. Challenges, you feel left out in the cold by someone. Something did not work out the way you wanted it to work out. I feel like it's all hap uh, I feel like it's all happening because someone just tried to avoid conflict with this five of wands reversed and didn't was not interested in the healing. Star reversed and judgment reversed, just wanted to bury the connection altogether. Somebody just wanted it to end. They were not no longer willing to try to fix it. I'll get clarity in a second. Six of Wands, Magician reversed, Knight of Swords. Oh. Outcome, make or break. You're being noticed this week. By someone, Six of Wands. I feel like you're being noticed. Not sure what's up with that magician reverse, though. Oh, well, okay. Four of Wands. Where do you go? Where are you there? Why the Four of Wands? Justice. Stability and balance, you, something you've been unable to manifest, it's like it manifests itself, but it's kind of squirrely. The moon, the ten of pentacles, and strength reversed. Okay. You're not going to know how the hell it happened, but it's going to happen. Why strength reversed? Page of cups reversed. That's super strange. Like someone's been watching you. I'm feeling outside help. Outside help. Like secret admirer, some shit like that. Why is six of wands here? Five of wands. Something you've been in conflict with. Someone you've been in conflict with. It's not a reunion. I'm telling you that right now. Like somebody showing off might be shot down. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Empress reversed. K 
King of Cups reversed. Eight of Swords. Wow. Something you've been all wrapped up in. Something you weren't able to put emotion toward or someone who wasn't able to put emotion toward you. Could be like a baby mama or a baby daddy you're separated from. I feel like watching, watching. Somebody's watching. Huh. I never know what order things happen in. These are just events. It's like an end to conflict. It's a change. It's a change in the dynamic. Why the six of pentacles reversed? The six of wands reversed. By the Five of Swords reversed. Seven Pentacles. Patience. End of conflict. End of conflict. The war's over. I feel like you leave the week accepting that things are never going to be the same or things things are never going to be like they were. They're never going to be equal. And it may not be acknowledged, but at the same time, your make or break on this is how you deal with this change in the dynamic. Someone's still investing energy, but like in a weird, different kind of way. I'm hearing outside help. You don't know where it's coming from, but it's there. I don't know, Leo, this is so weird. It's like someone's waiting to rush in out of nowhere. Someone you're missing. Could be somebody you're manifesting. Like, failed manifestation until now. That's been happening to me a lot lately. I don't know. Let's throw, Let's get your advice. You guys are getting some whacked out readings tonight. Whacked out. Oh my god. I may just make this a weird bonus because this is not making sense. I don't think I've mentioned what date this is good for anyway, so. I might post and just make a bonus and redo it. I don't know. Some crazy energies, guys. Hearing you can't hide from the truth. You can't hide from the truth. Process the emotions that go along with this. You have to try to see the blessings. It's because it didn't work out the way you wanted it to work out. Doesn't mean you can't be friends at the end of the day, but at the same time, you need to be careful with that because someone may be having pure intentions with this. So if you're going to reunite, I wouldn't suggest... A full reunion I would suggest more of a cooperation if that makes any sense to anyone yeah seven of cups reversed Emperor reversed King of Swords reversed don't let your emotions run away with you with this you need to maintain control and not let the other person confuse the shit out of you because this is ultimately all happening 
Because someone just walked away trying to avoid conflict and wanted to bury it. Now all of a sudden somebody's coming back. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I went right around to see why, though. Three of Wands reversed. Double reversed. I just separate from this shit. But it's your call. It's your call, Leo. All right. Virgo. I'm getting a little fried. I don't know. I might post it. I don't know. I'm just getting tired. Been going at this for almost two hours. My energy is drained. I love doing the all signs, guys. Don't get me wrong, but it's just so draining. Super draining. Virgo. Can we do Virgo and call it a day. And eventually at some point, even though the cat just got fed like uh, three hours ago, he thinks he needs to eat again, so... Virgo. Prince of Swords in the Sun. Somebody's rushing in with truth. I don't know if it's you or somebody else. The challenge here is happiness and the connection. Children. It could have something to do with children, though, too. See this little baby sitting on top of this horse? It might have something to do with children. Four of Wands, Queen of Swords, the Hierophant. Stability, honest conversations, blessed unions. Or life lessons. I'll throw a clarifier on it in a minute. Why is it all happening? Ace of Cups, Five of Cups, Two of Swords. Somebody is making a decision as to whether to start new again after a heartbreak. Five of Pentacles. Sorry, Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Something needs to be released here. I feel like the end of the week, you maintain independence, or somebody's maintaining independence. Financial, emotional, what have you. It feels like financial. The make or break is the release of a burden, though. Hmm. Why is the hair fit here? Real quick, why is the hair fit here? Ace Cups. Hmm. Temperance. The Blessed Union. The two cups coming together. In the blessed union. Oh my God. Oh, and look, there's two cups of blessings in this card, too. How wild is that? Something coming together at the end of the week. Something tried to come together once before.
What's the Queen of Swords here? It's the Queen of Swords here for Virgo. Oh my. Someone views you as the catch. They know what they want and they want it now. They don't feel like they're good enough. Somebody's coming in with truth. They don't feel like they match up to you, but they want you. Somebody's going to be speaking truth. Why is this four of wands here? I just grabbed the wrong deck, but it flew out full reversed. Oops! I do that once in a while. Five of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to build a foundation, but there's conflict. Could be conflict because of events that happened in the past, or someone wanting to maintain their independence. The foundation, the potential is there, the door is open. Somebody doesn't know if they want to jump through it, walk through it. Why is the Five of Cups here? King of Wands, King of Swords, holy crap. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. There's conflict and honesty. fire and air. You could be dealing with someone with fire or air in their chart. There was sadness. I think someone wanted forward movement and someone had to make a logical decision. Why is two of swords here? Ten of wands, ten of wands. I'm leaving it. Somebody's going to get something off their chest that's been on their chest for a while. They had something on their heart that they couldn't release. They had to make a decision. This is where we're at now. Right here, right now. There's potential there for a new start. One on this Nine of Pentacles. And we're leaving it. Five of Cups. I think you want to maintain your independence because this person puts you in the five of cups and the make or break is what you do with the information that you're given. Nine of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. What's your advice, Virgo? Don't let negative emotions keep you from healing. Don't let truth steer you from taking the moon reversed, seven of cups reversed, and the alchemist. Don't let... Hold on. Okay, that makes more sense. Don't let this confuse you. If you want a new start, the old stuff has to end. 
but the healing has to take place. The energies have to realign. You have to be able to mix well. The lovers, the four swords reverse, the eight of wands. Don't rush into this too quickly. A process has to take place. Things have to heal. If you have not healed from the events of the past, do not walk back into this. Because you're going to walk back into it with the same energy that was there. Ten of Cups. Nine of Pentacles reversed. It's up to you, Virgo. I gotta put the cards up for the night because I am whipped. Let me know if any of these made sense to anybody. I. Whoa. Okay. Know that you loved. Be blessed. Have one hell of a week. And I will catch you guys in seven days.